I want to read you guys a scripture that I learned when I was young that I've held on to in life, especially during tough times. It comes from the epistle uh, to the Hebrews in chapter 13. And it says in verse 6, So we confidently can say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Now, this uh, is actually an Old Testament quotation coming from Psalm 118. In Psalm 118, verse 1, it says, Oh, give thanks to Yahweh, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear Yahweh say, his steadfast love endures forever. Out of my distress, I called on Yahweh. Yahweh answered me and set me free. Yahweh is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Yahweh is on my side as my helper. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. I think this passage of scripture here that the psalmist is declaring is he looks to Yahweh in his distress, in his time of trouble. And he knows that Yahweh is on his side. And because Yahweh is on his side, he says, what do I have to be afraid of? What can man do to me? You know, if God is on our side, as in Paul writes in Romans chapter 8, if God is for us, then who can be against us? Who is greater than God that we should worry about them and fear them? No, we should fear God and respect, honor, and obey him. Now, during times of trouble, we want to have somebody reliable to count on. We want to turn to somebody who we know is going to always be there. Well, that's God and his faithfulness. And that's why the author of Hebrews actually quotes a uh, second uh, scripture from the Old Testament prior to this one. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5, it says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And he's quoting the way that God promised as the children of Israel were going to go into the promised land, that he was going to be with them. And so he gives them courage and strengthens them with this promise of faithfulness. See, when times are tough, we can look to God for help. But it's also not just between us and God. You see, God has a whole church, the church of Jesus Christ, his body. The body of Christ is an entire organism, and we have help in the body of Christ as well. You know, Paul writes in Galatians chapter 6, we are to bear or carry one another's burdens. So when we need help, yes, let's turn to God. Let's call out to God in our distress. But then also, let's look to one another. Let's help carry each other's burdens. And by doing that, we will fulfill the law of Christ. And so there are two different reliable ways to look when times are tough, when you're in distress, is you look to God because he is our helper and he will never fail us. But then also let's look to each other and let's work with each other to help each other carry the burdens of life. Uh, The author of Hebrews writes one last thing I want to share with you. And in chapter 6, Hebrews chapter 6, it says, For God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love that you've shown for his name in serving the saints as you do. See, God sees everything that we do and he takes notice when we help each other because that's what pleases him and it brings glory to him when his people unite together against the adversary. So turn to God in your distress and then also help one another as well because in this way we will show the strength of our Lord in our lives. God bless.